Um, my name is Ruckus. I always tell people, especially through this sort of work, um, I get constantly asked and you know, when doing gay work I get asked if I'm straight and I'm doing other work that doesn't fit people's rigid definitions of things. They're like, well, where do you, where do you really fall in on the spectrum? And, uh, and most people don't really grasp if they're already asking. Not really quite going to get it when you tell them you identify as queer. Like, oh, well, what, is, what is that? And uh, so I pretty much have narrowed it down to telling them I identify as don't give a fuck what kind of plumbing someone has. It's, it's about people to me, you know, not, not just their parts. And uh, I think that is a very abstract notion to a lot of people. And it is a very queer notion. People are just like, wow, that, that's weird. So you really, if there's a burning building and you had a man, a woman, and blah, 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 who would you save? And I'm just like, this is exactly the kind of dumb shit questions I'm like, just, you know, not interested in in the first place. I'm like choosing to identify the way I do. I don't know. I feel like it just allows for a lot more fluidity than, uh, than all the little boxes that the, especially the industry, let alone the world, <laughs> yeah, trying to stuff you into. I have high hopes for the kind of projects that these sites and the company in general have as a whole and their hopes for really destigmatizing a lot of body types, gender presentations, expressions of sex or sexuality. And through being a part of this, I really feel like it feels great to be able to help out in some way through contributing even just as a model or someone else getting to like, I don't know, rep these projects and rep this website and just like, look, there, there is more to it than, than the mainstream has to offer um, through just porn and digital representations of sexuality as it is, you know. My relationships in my personal life um, vary pretty, pretty greatly. Um, I generally, sometimes I have uh, a more consistent primary partner in my life, but it's always very open, very communicative, polyamorous relationships. And I feel really, really great about that sort of setup and those, those relationships themselves do not work well, do not work at all if you're not communicating well. And so even if there's, there are certain things that need work, and they always will, there's always shit to work on, it just really keeps you on your toes with that and just flows along in what you can only hope is like a healthier and more open direction at all times. I don't know, I usually try and more or less reject the idea of role models. Um, personally, it just... It's too easy to just try and fall in a little track of trying to like, oh well, well this person did this. It doesn't it doesn't leave you that much room for your own growth, and just the sort of dynamic shifts that can take place in a person's life, based on you know any number of factors, where you live, the people you surround yourself with. It just I don't know. It doesn't leave my perception of everything as open as I would like it to. When I'm not having sex, I love to just spend time with my close friends and my dog. I have a dog I absolutely adore. And we'll go, we'll go out to the various forest parks, um, places like that, especially around the, the East Bay here. It's been great living out here, being 20 minutes at the most from you know, two dozen different awesome places to go hiking or sometimes swimming. And uh, definitely like to spend a lot of time outdoors. I like tinkering with 
different things as well, especially motorcycles, sometimes cars, things like that. And uh, I get around by motorcycle primarily, so it uh, it's always nice. I just it's like doing puzzles for me, so it's really therapeutic sometimes without uh, the pressures of having to do it as a job or anything like that. Um, well, I'm from Reno originally, and I really wouldn't say I miss anything. Um, there, there are some people I'm still fond of from that area, but the place itself is, I don't like to call a place backwards, but if I was to pick one to describe that way, it would be out there. Um, you know, people are really offended at the notion of people doing things that they wouldn't do. And really just have decided that what other people do, even out of their own sight, is is their fucking business, you know? And uh, that's definitely been extremely stifling for me uh, growing up and, I don't know, as having lived part of my adult life out there, just realizing that the things I would like to explore and the person I would like to be does not belong there, is not welcome there. I'm a very, very solitary and very private person. In, I tend to be too. In my normal life. And uh, just doesn't really, you know, even sometimes like the whole idea of tolerance, like, you know, it's a very like, I don't want to be tolerated. Like, if it comes to that, I want to be left alone. <laughs> you know, so it's like, I don't know. I have no expectations of the world to accept or embrace me for who I am. It's better to be ignored than, like, vilified, but it's also yeah. better to actually be openly accepted than to be ignored. Yeah. So. <clears throat>